All right, so this is gonna be a brief introduction to Native Instruments Complete. It's one of the best overall packages of sounds you can find anywhere, including synthesizers, samplers, effects, all of that, and I think it really complements the Reason sound package very, very well. Um, now that Reason and Complete work together through the VSTs, it's like you have everything you want at your hands. This includes lots of great drum sounds, lots of great synths and sub sounds, and leads, strings, uh, horns, all sorts of cool samples. So and great, great like compressors and EQs and stuff like that. So I just want to give you a quick rundown of the way the VSTs, well, not the way VSTs work in Reason, but the way the sort of uh, main tool within complete which is called contact works and there's a link down below if you're interested in finding out more about the native instruments plugins and it's an affiliate link so if you want to buy them it helps out and helps support the channel no pressure i really enjoy native instruments complete you can see it on some of my other tracks um, there'll be a link up there once i put some of them up there just to show you how cool it is so right now we're going to give you a tour of contact so you go right click Go to Instruments, and you can go down to Native Instruments, GMBH, which I guess is like, I don't know, German or some sort of European language for corporation. And let's collect, click on Contact 5. So Reason implements VSTs in this VST wrapper here. And then to actually access it, you need to click Open. And Contact basically has its own wrapper and that's what I'm going to talk to you about right now so you'll notice there's all of these buttons here which is sort of how the native instruments plugin itself runs so you can almost imagine this as a combinator inside of a combinator here you've got the ability to save here are your options um, this sort of shows which of the windows are up and then this shows the size of the window this is going to show you CPU usage and then here are your libraries and your instruments and things like that. So, you know, you can go on session pro, uh, horns and let's go to performance. And I'm just going to open a keyboard so you can hear some of this. Yeah. Um, and some of these are very large. So they take a minute to load. Like this is, you can see the memory size. It's like almost a gigabyte of samples on here. So I'm going to open up a keyboard. So that's basically, I'm moving around. You can see the volume, the pitch. You can change, and actually just to make things easier, I'll use the animator. Um, so um, you can change the tuning globally, um, or the volume, or mute it. You can pan it, and then right here is where you get to sort of the more advanced editing functions. You can choose the instrument buses or put send effects on it within the contact session. Um, and this will shrink it down. Um, there's various tabs within most of these instruments as well, so you can control parts of them. It's sort of, you can almost imagine them as hitting the tab section on a rack extension to flip it around. Um, and um, if you want aux sends, if you flip the back of this over, oops, you'll see um, there's optional audio outs and optional audio ins, and you can do aux sends that way. Um, and then if you don't like the instrument, you can, um, there's also, it minimizes it. You can close it out. You can save the changes to the instrument or close them. Um, and then maybe instead of the horns, you're going to go with, um, I don't know, Maverick, which is sort of a piano, which is not sort of a piano. It is actually a piano, sort of a um, honky-tonk style piano. So you've got the same sort of controls here. You know, you can move it around. You've got reverbs built into it. You've got all these sort of aspects to it. You can browse the patches by going through here. 
or browse the instruments. Um, well, certain ones will be organized up along this folder and some won't. Um, you can also take a snapshot of it, get some info about it. Um, we'll get into it later, but there's outputs and various MIDI, cha MIDI channels. Actually, I'm not gonna get that into that on this one because I'm just trying to give you a very high level overview. Um, you also have sort of the overall instrument level with KSP, um, an overall aux. Um, Oh, there they are down there, yep. Um, you can also just open up files for some of these. There's databases. If you wanna just search by sound itself, so let's close out the Maverick. Like this is sort of a, a browser almost, right? So let's go for like guitars, a jazz guitar, and a band, okay. So this one here, let's see. jazz or guitar simulators and this certainly doesn't appear to be one at the moment but but a lot of these will have something called animation which actually makes them sound much better but that sounds nothing like a real guitar to me um, but some of them sound surprisingly realistic especially the strings and the horns because they have these animations basically these patterns which are sort of like uh synths or whatever or they're samples but you have much more control over them you know from the style and all of that let's do this and uh there's doing some round robin things there um playback here we go um can be really helpful especially one of the cool ways you can combine this with reason is once you create a MIDI lane for that then you can sort of bounce it as a sample or bounce it as an audio file and then start manipulating it in cool ways um, so that's a basic overview of contact um, it's really I think it is implemented pretty smoothly in reason you get a lot of power out of it I highly recommend it um, if you like this video please subscribe like if you're interested in finding out more about contact and native instruments there's an affiliate link down below check it out